right, good afternoon everybody. Uh, I'm out in my shop, the garage. Thought we'd have a brief conversation about some other things. People said, well, what else can you make? Now I've got lots of how-to videos. Go back through the playlist, take a look, find something you like, drop me some questions. I mean, I'll answer them for you. But some of the things real quickly that you can do, I'm just going to talk very briefly and it's only going to take a few minutes. You have a horseshoe. Now if I drill a hole here and I drill a hole here, and I can use, you know, a countersink bit. Let me see if I got it. There's a countersink bit. So after I drill that hole, I can turn it around and I can use this and drill a little chamfer on each one of those holes so that when people put screws, they'll sit flush or they'll sit just below the surface. It looks cleaner. So you can do that too. You can use a hand drill. Now you got the, the base of this. Okay, so then you take another horseshoe, cut it in half. Okay, then take that half and you can weld it like this. Uh, my hand out of the way. You can weld it like this. And you can use this in your garage to drape cords over, a coat rack, whatever you want, or to hang tools from. Another way of doing it, if you have uh, railroad ties, you can actually take this and you can weld a railroad tie to it. And it doesn't have sharp of a bend and you can drape bigger items over it. Um, I have a buddy of mine, he's got one similar to this and he's got two of these on there and he hangs a chainsaw that he has. When he's done, he hangs it up on there. So you can do these in a lot of different configurations out of basic material, horseshoes, railroad spikes. And uh, I know I keep pitching this, but I keep getting the same comment as somebody says, well, I have some of the tools, but I don't have all of them. I did a video on basic hand tools that you could buy. Most of them you can get out at Harbor Freight and they're fairly cheap. You can also contact me. I can sell you the horseshoes, the railroad spikes. I can do some of the work for you or all of the work for you. It just depends. I mean, um, I ship probably once to twice a week. Sometimes I don't ship at all and then I'll ship two times that month because I'm not making a living doing this. I got a full-time job, like I keep saying, like everybody else, side gig fuels my hobby and it's kind of fun. And I'm helping other people by showing them enough detail, I think, on how to do these things and you can sell them yourself. My biggest advertisement, and I've said this over and over in the videos, is I always take photographs of the things that I do. Here's the hot dog cooker again. All right. I keep photos on my phone of this, maybe two, three different angles, and I carry it around. And when I'm at work or something, and we're all sitting around having lunch, said, hey, what'd you do yesterday? And I tell them, they said, what? And I go, here, I'll show you. And I show them on my phone. It's like, hey, how much you want for one of those? I give them a price, and I sew up the deal. And then on my next day off, I mean, I make them, and I turn around, and I sell them. So mostly I sell locally, but there are occasions where I run into spurts where I sell a lot, I mean, um, by shipping. And if I can ship it USPS, you know, those flat rate boxes, I'll do it. Or if I can sell you the pieces and ship them, I'll do it that way. You could do the same thing. Uh, bed frame rails are cheap. Like I said, there's lots of projects. Okay. So I hope that answered the questions. I had three of them on the forum. I decided I would do a quick video about it and give you an explanation. Once you have the welder, the rest of the tools are not that expensive. You can buy lower end tools. Like I said, the hammers and stuff from out at Harbor Freight, whatever. If you get more and more into it, you can always upgrade your tools. Okay. All right. I'm the home handyman. I hope you click subscribe. I hope you keep following me. It's just your quick tip of the day and hopefully an encouraging discussion on things that you can go do. Take a look back. I actually took horseshoes. I made a, a moose's head with antlers. And then antlers, and then I put those hooks on there um, all around it, so you can drape cords. And I use bolts for the eyes, and I attach it to the side of my welding cart. Um, I'll see if I can take a photo of it and I'll include it, but uh, you know, you should think about doing the same thing It's not that hard to do you folks have a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye